Roland GS20. This time they sent the whole printer. Let me show you what's going on. And most of the USB B port is missing. On the bright side, it looks like all the traces are there. We'll just have to do some cleanup and remove what's left of the ports and go from there. This video is brought to you by PCBWay. We'll talk about their awesome services in a little bit. One thing to note when you're disassembling one of these printers, this connector right here is the tricky one. The latches are on the outside of the connector and you have to lift both of them to get the connector out. I foresee people trying to get these out and ripping these connectors off pretty regularly. So if you're not comfortable with it, I don't recommend you do it. So I think our approach is going to be to low melt what's left of this port off. In order to do that, I must set up my equipment. While I set up my equipment, let me throw up my expected temperatures for this job. These temperatures are brought to you by the associate links in the description. If you go to my video description and click on one of these links and buy any of this equipment, a small portion of that purchase will go to supporting the channel. And I greatly appreciate you. It won't cost you an extra dime. Add some flux. All of our pins are still stuck in the board, which is better than ripping the pads off the board. Buy a long shot. Get some low melts. Start with these pins and we're just going to pull them out if we can. Like so. I'm going to try to feed it in a little more low melt to those holes. Don't think we're going to get away without using hot air. Shouldn't take too much. We'll go 380. Get the rest of this shield off. Hopefully we will not need hot air for the rest of this job. Well, I could be mistaken about my heat estimate. We may have to go 480. 380 is not doing much. Alright, we'll go full temperature. We got it. Hopefully we can just wake this out. If not, we can grab the solder sucker. It looks like we got it just fine. Low melt to the rescue. The disassembly on the Roland is a little bit involved, but it's not too bad. At least they use the same size screws for almost everything. Crap, it's a fresh new port. Some of you may be asking, why am I showing this job on the channel? Well, the reason why I have this job is because of the channel. I did one of these locally in Colorado, recorded it, posted a video, and now people contact me about them. And this is why I say if you're not doing videos for your business, I think you're missing out on a revenue stream and a lead generator. I know some people think making videos is not for me, but trust me, if you knew me in real life, you'd be saying that about me. I am not 
a social superstar. Ideally, you want to contact the pad and the lead. And just feed solder on the pad. It's not always doable. And this one was pretty simple. All that's left to do is clean up and reassemble the printer. I hope you're getting value out of this video. Just a reminder, if you find you're not ready to tackle this, I do offer these services, both locally and mail-in. Just head over to micromage.repair, click free quote, fill out the form, and I'll get back to you personally. If you mention this video, I'll give you 10% off on your repair. Okay, moment of truth. Powering on, that's good. That's what we wanted to hear. Our USB port is working. This thing is huge. Can't believe you sent the whole thing. PCB Way offers many great services, like PCB with many options, ranging from standard to rigid flex, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, 3D printing, and injection molding, PCB assembly, and they even have their own store with many great deals. Click my link in the description and head over to PCBWay.com and start your project today. Whew, that took a minute to pack up. If you got value out of this video, I think you'll get value out of this one. And I'll see you there. Until then, peace, love, and solder wick. Mm -hmm.